Israeli Office of the Anti-Defamation League denounced the Facebook post published by Prime Minister Netanyahu's son, Yair Netanyahu, which included anti-Semitic themes. The organization wrote on its Hebrew-language Twitter account on Sunday that the caricature contained clear anti-Semitic elements. The danger of anti-Semitic discourse should not be downplayed, Prime Minister Netanyahu refused to address the mem during a cabinet meeting on Sunday morning. This isn't a press conference, but thanks for asking, he told an army radio reporter who raised the question. The mem, captioned the food chain, features a photo of George Soros dangling the world in front of a reptilian creature, who dangles an alchemy symbol in front of a caricature of an Illuminati figure reminiscent of the anti-Semitic happy merchant image. The other figures in the chain are former Prime Minister Ehud Barak, and Tianetan Yahoo protest leader Elvin Yanov and Mini Naftali, a former chief caretaker at the Netanyahu's official residence who implicated Sarah Netanyahu in the case she is being indicted in. Responses to the mem included a re from former Grand Wizard of the Ku Klux Klan David Duke, calls for psychiatric care for Yer from former Prime Minister Ehud Barak, and condemnations from leaders of the Israeli left including MK Zetherva Gowan and Labour leader Abi Gabe. The neo-Nazi Daily Stormer also posted an article regarding the mem entitled Netanyahu's son posts awesome mem blaming the Jews for bringing down his Jew father, in which it called Yer Netanyahu a total bro. Attorney General Avijay in Dublin announced Friday that Sarah Netanyahu would be indicted for fraud and breach of trust. She is to be charged with spending 359,000 shekels, $102,000, in state funds on catering at the Prime Minister's official residence, while falsely claiming that the House did not employ a cook. The indictment is subject to a hearing, whose date has not yet been announced. The Anti-Defamation League on Sunday condemned Yair Netanyahu for posting a meme with anti-Semitic connotations which white supremacists have celebrated. The organization's Israel branch tweeted a statement in Hebrew saying that the image contained clear anti-Semitic elements. The danger of anti-Semitic discourse should not be downplayed. Yair, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and wife Sarah's 25-year-old son, posted the controversial image Saturday night on his Facebook page. The post features Hungarian Jewish billionaire George Soros dangling the world in front of a reptilian who is likewise dangling an alchemy symbol in front of an Illuminati figure. The Illuminati figure then dangles money in front of former Prime Minister Ehud Barak. Outspoken Netanyahu critics Eldad Yanov and many Naftali are featured after Barak, tempted with a political party ballot and a tray of food respectively. The caption reads the food chain. Many Naftali, the Netanya is former house manager, is expected to testify against Sarah Netanyahu should she be indicted in the Prime Minister's Residence Affairs case by Attorney General Avi Chimandelblit. All the figures in the meme, except the reptilian, are holding their hands in a similar fashion to the Happy Merchant, an anti-Semitic meme that gained prominence in alt-right and neo-Nazi forums after it was first posted on 4chan, an online image board. The Happy Merchant depicts a Jewish male figure with a large hooked nose rubbing his hands together and usually includes an anti-Semitic caption about money or world control. The reptilian is an all-powerful creature was popularized by English writer and conspiracy theorist David Dicka. According to Ica, shape-shifting reptilian humanoids came from the Draco constellation in order to lead a conspiracy against humanity as part of the New World Order. Ica believes in the validity of the anti-Semitic document protocols of the elders of Zion and he has been accused of using lizards as a code for Jews. In response, Ica has claimed that it is the exact opposite, that the Jews in the protocols are not real Jews, rather they are true lizard people. The Daily Stormer published a reaction article to Yair's meme titled Netanyahu's son posts awesome meme blaming the Jews for bringing down his Jew father, in which Andrew Anglin, the neo-Nazi site's editor, referred to the young Netanyahu as a total bro and wrote next he's going call for gassings. Yair's post also gained attention from David Duke, the notorious former Grand Wizard of the Ku Klux Klan. Duke on Saturday tweeted the image with the caption, Netanyahu's son posts a meme suggesting, Soros, is controlling the world, meme rife with anti-Semitic themes. The triple parenthesis is referred to as the echo and is used by the alt-right to denote someone of Jewish heritage or background. Netanyahu's son posts a meme suggesting, Soros, is controlling the world, meme rife with anti-Semitic themes https colon slash slash t dot co slash six xtuna four e, David Duke, at dr David Duke September 9, 2017 on Twitter, Ehud Barak asked, is this what the boy hears at home? Is it genetics or his very own mental illness? No matter, at any rate, 
we should pay for his mental therapist and not his security detail and personal driver. Yair quickly posted a Facebook post in retaliation claiming that Ehud Barak reeks of whiskey and that he needs a geriatric evaluation. Labor leader Isaac Herzog responded to the tweet by stating, Every Jew should feel revulsion and shame this cartoon, in the style of, the pages of, Nazi newspaper, Der Sturmer, that came out of the home of the Prime Minister and embraced by anti-Semites? Delete it, apologize, speak out against it? Pick.twitter.com slash vck 8 rv at Barack underscore Ehud September 9, 2017 Year Netanyahu is not a stranger to social media controversies. In July, he attacked Malad, a progressive think tank, and Ariel Olmert, the son of former Prime Minister Ehud Olmert. In a Facebook post in response to Malad's post titled Five Things You Did Not Know About Yair Netanyahu, Yair accused the organization of trying to destroy Israel and Ariel Olmert of having a homosexual relationship with a Palestinian. There are a few problems with this story. The first is that it's made up lies. I like women and share my life with a female partner and my daughter, Olmert said in response. The bigger problem is the racism and homophobia dripping from this story. And for dessert, you decided to claim that we, my imaginary friend and I, harmed